uh, we got a, we got a good group, and so obviously the day is day one. Uh, you know, we're just going to try to go out and do the best we can of trying to rebuild our identity uh, as a really good defensive team, rebounding team. Uh, try to get off to a good start with practice, but I'm excited about our guys and, and their maturity. And uh, obviously, we're getting older. Uh, we got some experience now, and so hopefully that will really help us. Is Jarrell Brantley the most mature guy on the team? <laughs> well, you know, uh, we got a, we got some older guys. You know, Jarrell's a uh, is a fun spirit, so you know he like to have a good time, and I'm sure he's somewhere behind me oh, yes. <laughs> make, making he jokes. Is. But uh, but no, he's, he's getting older and he's maturing and, and uh, providing good leadership. Uh, you know, for our team, and, and hopefully he can continue to grow in that area. Earl, you're now the hunted. You're not the hunter. You are the hunted, and that's a different kind of persona to take on. And how do you address that? Do you embrace it, or? Well, I mean, you know, I don't really know. I don't know what that means in terms of being a hunted. I mean, certainly uh, there were things we wanted to get done last year, and we fell short of, of, of accomplishing some of those things. And so, you know, as, as far as I'm concerned, we, we're still trying to be a team that's chasing. You know, I, I feel like we're still the one that's chasing. And uh, I mean, I'm sure people will give us their best shot based on what the media say about rankings and things of that nature. But in terms of our mentality and, and who we are as a team and a program, I mean, we still got a lot to fight for. And so uh, hopefully we can continue to do that as we start this practice today and build that mentality that we stay true to who we are and, and try to do those things as the season come close in the next few weeks. Sorry, is there a different feel though, knowing the success you had last year? So this is paying off, this is working, we're getting where we want to go? You know, really, it really ain't a different feel. It's just we've been climbing the whole time. We were down deep in the gutter a few years back, you know. And so we're not in that spot, but we certainly haven't gotten to the top of the mountain. And, uh, you know, we're still in the position of climbing, and we're still trying to continue to stay hungry about those things. And, and uh, again, it does feel good that you got some talent. I mean, it does feel good that the guys are getting older. But I know, I know where the guys' hearts are, and I know they want to continue to try to get to the top of the hill. Are you guys further along coming into this year than maybe you were in years past? Yeah, you know, yeah. Like I think we're further along because of the foreign tour. I mean, we practiced 10 days uh, leading up into that trip. And so, you know, in day one of practice here, the official first day of practice today, we'll be able to review some things. You know, we won't have to do all teaching. Some of it will be review and, uh, and try to clean up some of the things that we did in Europe. Um, so, you know, we're a little bit further ahead in terms of having our system in place, but we still got to, you know, recreate the mentality uh, you know, by our daily work, try to get that mentality. We can go out and really continue to fight teams when we play against them. You want to talk a little about the new players that you have on the team? Yeah, I mean, you know, we got we got a very talented, you know, new crop of guys. Certainly, I'll start with Brevin Galloway and Osanachi Smart. I mean, because they didn't play last year, so I, I consider them new because this will be the first year they can go into a game. And you know, Osanachi had a great trip in Europe, and he did some great things, and we're looking forward to him helping us. And Brevin Galloway, hopefully he can give us a good offensive punch. Both guys are physical with their body. You know, and then Samba Njai and, and Zepp Jasper, hopefully those guys can give us something in the future. Uh, you know, they haven't been able to prove anything to us, but we look forward to them giving us something in the future. How much does the, the continuity of that Europe trip and all the experience you have, how much does that help and change a little bit how you prepare when you can review on day one? I mean, you know, the defensive stuff is the same. I mean, we got it's a, you know, it's a method to the madness. We got to build that up, you know, one brick at a time. Um, and then the offensive stuff, you know, we know what we want to do offensively, so we got to try to fine tune some things, uh, clean up some things. We scored the ball really well in Europe. We played a lot faster, and we were more simplistic. So we do have to build our offensive scheme and our system, and you know, start getting in some different intricacies of the offense, but uh, the defensive stuff is the same. You build it one brick at a time. You, there's no, can't skip any steps of the process, and you just got to every day chop wood, and, and you know, hopefully that when the time is right, we'll be able to play good basketball. Do you discourage your guys from reading the magazines and reading the good things you know, about no, them? I, I really don't discourage them from reading it. I mean, because, uh, you, you know, whether it's good or bad, you see it. And so I think you can embrace that. You can embrace that. No big deal. Um, but I think the most important thing is we talked about staying true to who we are, staying true to our identity, um, you know, understanding that we got talent, but talent can't be what we hang our hat on. We got to hang our hat on hard work, you know, and effort every day. So when we get in the situation, uh, whether we're making all these perimeter shots or having a great offensive night, if we're doing that, that's awesome. But if there's a night where we don't have that, uh, you know, we got an identity to lean our hat on.
and that's defense and rebounding and, and trying to play with a tenacious mentality. So again, that's a build up. We're going to try to start here today by building up that mentality. Going over to Europe, how much has that helped you guys just to kind of get on the same page? Coach was saying, you guys aren't starting fresh. You guys are actually reviewing stuff that you did over there. How much does that help you guys? Yeah, um, it kind of gives us a head start. Um, got a chance to go over a lot of the things we're going to work on today. Um, just kind of gets us going, getting, getting us a head start for the season. Coach talked about this is a team. You're still climbing. You're trying to accomplish new things, but you're not in the gutter anymore. Do you get a different sense of practice coming in this year than you have in maybe the past few seasons? Um, yeah, a little bit. Uh, we had a little bit of success last year, um, but we're not satisfied. We still got a lot more to accomplish. Um, we have goals we set for ourselves. So, um, like you said, we're still climbing. We haven't reached the mountaintop yet. It's hard, though, to ignore the magazines. Everybody's picking you guys to win the conference. Well, how do you take Do you embrace that, or do you, or do you like, hey, we haven't done anything yet? Um, a little bit of both. That's something we work for. Um, we want respect from others, but at the same time, uh, like you said, we haven't done anything yet. Haven't won a championship, and, and that's the goal. So we're excited to get going chasing that. You guys feel like you are further along this year because you have so many guys coming back. Yeah, that's it's definitely a bonus having so many guys returning. Um, like I said, it gives us a head start. Um, we kind of know the sets. We're comfortable. Um, so now it's just like we're reviewing, going over, kind of fine-tuning our things and getting ready for the season. What, what did playing for a CAA title and getting into the NIT, what did that do for this team? Um, kind of gets us used to postseason play. Um, it was a great experience, um, and, and I think it'll help us next year um, when we get that opportunity again. What's different about this team? Is there anything different about this team coming into the year that was different from last year, in your opinion? I think uh, we got a little taste of success. Um, we got all the way to the championship game, the tournament. Um, the difference is we're, we were hungry last year, but I think we're a little hungry this year. Even we, hungrier. Yeah, because you, you get a taste. It's a, it's a bitter taste left in your mouth after losing the championship. So uh, we're, we're determined. We're ready to go. What's your expectations going into the season? Oh, I, I hope we do better, you know, get some wins. You know, and the, the ultimate goal is just win championships. So nothing less. Joe said you guys were hungrier than you were last year coming in this year. Do you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you fall short. It's not. I mean, they'll probably rank us high, but it doesn't really doesn't really mean anything because we haven't won anything. We're not a champ, so. Do you guys feel like you are further along though coming into this year because you have so many guys coming back? I'm sure we're confident. I mean, we still put our time in, and we want to be the hardest working team out besides the talent. So. You've become now one of the leaders on the team. And how does that change what you do, you know, on the court and even off the court? I mean, I think I just keep doing what I was doing. I was, as my freshman year, I was trying to become a leader. So I think keep pushing and doing what I'm doing, and I'll be all right. How do you embrace the expectations or that target? I mean, you had success last year, but it's going to be different this year. People are going to hunt you. Guys. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've said it before. I think everybody on our team plays with a chip on their shoulder. Everybody has their own motivation. So I think we're hungry in our own way, and it doesn't really matter what everybody else got going on. Shaylin, how are you feeling coming into this year? Oh, uh, very excited about the season. Just ready to start planning everything. Um, is it a little bit of a motivation that, with how close you guys got last year? Um, is that in the back of your minds at all? Coming in? Uh, it always in the back of my mind every day. Just, uh, just thinking about all the time. But we're just going to work hard to get there again and actually win it. It's different being kind of the hunted team. You know, you're you're trying to beat everybody else, and everybody's trying to beat you. Is that do you embrace that, or do you, or do you? I mean, how do you how do you feel about that? Uh, I really try not to think about that all the time. You know, I just look at it as you know, just just stay stay to our core. You know, just play hard all the time. When you think about this program and kind of where it was when Coach Grant got here, I mean, does that stuff even? Are we so far removed now from all of that stuff, or is it still something this team is trying to overcome and get past and build past and all that stuff? Uh, I think we're just trying to build past it all the time, you know. Just stay tight core, like I said before, and I would just keep working hard.